and there's Coquelin, there's Coachelin, Coechlin. The real pronunciation is Kekla. When I was a little girl, I used to play with my, my friends and we used to actually stare at foreigners and be like, well, look at a part look at the foreigner who's passing by. So you know, that's how much I really thought I was Indian. You know, I've grown up being stared at as a foreigner. Uh, I've grown up with people sort of talking to me as though I, I wasn't from the, the place, you know. And uh, that's something I was always frustrated with because I felt like I was Indian and I didn't have an awareness that I wasn't um, for a very long time. I hope I still have a career in Bollywood with my short hair. There is a model of beauty that's quite conventional. It's not unique to Bollywood, it's, it's in Hollywood, it's in different parts of the world in different ways. But there is an idea of what feminine should be. And, um, you know, I didn't think about my haircut much. It was just, I didn't have any um, commitments at work. So I was like, oh, I can chop off my hair. And it felt great and I really enjoy it. Beauty trends need to, need to grow and change and I think that the only way to do it is to start doing it yourself, you know. I once had a producer um, tell me that I need to get uh, Botox for my laughter lines. Uh, so I decided I'm going to stop smiling so much and be very serious from now on. Um, you know, it's, it's casual, small comments. It's never like, you know, some big statement if you just change the way you maybe the way you dress you know you might get more work it's really like just said in a very casual way so you also feel like oh why am i making such a big deal about this but that for me is is the worst kind of sexism casual sexism where it's just ah come on don't take it so seriously a little slap on the back you know um and that casualness sort of builds up and creates a certain uh, frustration and anger which is inexplicable later It's so ingrained in our culture, the way we bring up children and how differently we bring up boys and girls. And I think that uh, the basis for that needs to start in the next generation. It's very hard for this generation to change completely the way that they were brought up. But we do have a chance to change our generation, the, the, the coming generation of children.